Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. All right, here we are. Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Robot Panda 15 here. And yes, bringing you another Neptunia game. It has been a while. We never finished our Hyper Dimension Neptunia Victory Let's Play due to lots of issues going on. But we're back now with Mega Dimension Neptunia V2, and I am determined to finish this game. If you guys are hyped for this Let's Play, leave a like down below, subscribe to keep up with this content, and always leave a comment. I try to read any all comments that I possibly can, and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can as well. Let's get right on into this game. Ah uh, yes, we have all the DLCs enabled here. Let's go through it all. Da -da 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 -da. Level caps, there we go. Item sets. Go and a costume set. All right, got everything in the game. How long has it been since this world and I were swallowed by this dark vortex of delusion? Except it didn't swallow me. It was my doing. I threw myself willingly into this maelstrom. But it's pulled me down deeper. And with more violence than I could have ever imagined. How can I escape this boundless whirlpool of delusion? Please give me an answer. Anyone, please. Save me. Those look like the four CPUs. Is that a little bit of foreshadowing? Zero Dimension Neptunia Z! And here we have it. Zero Dimension Neptunia Z. So apparently this game is like three different games all rolled into one. So we're going to start off here with Zero Dimension Neptunia Z here, and this is that music. You guys can't see me, but I'm headbanging right now. But let's get right on into it. Game industry. A world which exists outside of our reality, where four CPUs protect and rule above each nation. The nation where CPU Purple Heart rules Planetune. The nation where CPU Blackheart rules, Lastation. The nation where CPU Whiteheart rules, Loe. The nation where CPU Greenheart rules, Leanbox. In the past, game industry had been exposed to threats such as the Deity of Sin, and the CPU of the ancient nation of Tari. But thanks to the efforts of the four CPUs, a lasting era of peace has been maintained. However, as they enter the CPU shift period, their enduring reign is approaching its end. like something plastic slamming against the concrete. Hmm, I think it came from over there. Maybe I should go take a look. I love this game. And so, here we find our heroine in a spooky back alley, shrouded in darkness in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, this isn't weird at all. 
So if you guys are unfamiliar with uh, the hyper, the the dimension, uh, wow, the words are not coming out today. If you guys are unfamiliar with the Neptunia games, they like to break the fourth wall a lot in this game. So be prepared for that. A lot of fourth wall breakage coming up here. Someone save me! Huh? Is that a voice? Someone, anyone, save me! Save the Zero Dimension! Hello? Someone there? Come on, answer me! That's so weird. I could have sworn I heard it coming from around here. Hmm? Wait, what's this on the ground? It almost looks like... a game console? But who even makes this? It's got a white body, a swirl mark. Even a sophisticated game sommelier like myself has never seen anything like this. Well, I don't see anyone around here, so I guess I'll just take a... I mean, deposit this at the Basilicum for safekeeping. Yeah. Hey, Nepgear! Looky look! I found a super cool vintage game console! Oh, really? Maybe we can try playing it later. Also, welcome home, Neptune. I'm glad you made it back safe and sound. And I am super glad that this game has full voice acting, because that saves you guys from listening to my terrible voice acting, and that saves me from doing terrible voice acting. So, thank God this game has full voice acting. This kid is Nepgear. She may seem older, but don't be fooled. She's my little sister. The CPU candidate of the nation, Planetune. Neptune, where in game industry have you been? This is not the time to be goofing off. I will not forgive you today. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! It's Isti! This small fairy looking girl is Istoir. Or Isti, as I like to call her. And Isti is awesome. Planetune's first CPU created her in order to keep a record of the nation's history, and right now, she acts as Planetune's oracle. She's cute until she opens her mouth and turns into a little dictator. It's a character flaw that I'm gonna talk to the writers about soon because. Yeah. Neptune, listen to me. We're in the midst of a game industry's shift period. And this is simply not the time for brash behavior. Ah, uh, come on, Isti, lighten up! It's just a little old shift, period. Wait, what is that again? Even though I had explained it so thoroughly, I will explain it once again. So please, listen. The CPU shift period is the season when citizens begin searching for new CPUs to follow. Instead of placing their faith, in those already presiding. We're currently in the window of time when rumors about the CPUs will begin circulating, tarnishing their reputations. In fact, at this very moment, the other CPUs have been working relentlessly to prepare specialized teams to counter any allegations. I'm totally fine. This is Planetune we're talking about, Isti. My people love me. Besides, isn't Noir the only one who's made an actual team? Vert has that MMO tourney, and Blonde has Rookie Novelist Awards coming up soon. Dear me, why is it that all the CPUs lack a mature and appropriate sense of danger? Hey! Don't just lump me in with those lazy idiots, Istuar! Oh, by the way, this girl is Noir, the CPU of Last Station, the nation next door. She's a friendless, lonely soul. Aren't you, Noir? You shut up! I'm not lonely! <laughs> That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, Neptunior, think you can fix this console? It looks like it's pretty broken. I'm not sure if I can. It doesn't look like technology I'm familiar with. May I inspect it for a moment, Big Sis? <sighs> It cannot be helped. It appears I will be constructing a solution on my own for Planetune's safety yet again. Anyone, please, save us! Huh? N Neptune, 
Did you hear that? Oh, I knew I heard something earlier. Good work, Nip Jr. Where's it coming from? This is gonna sound weird, but I think the voice came from inside this console. Oh! Well, what'd they do now? What is this? Why are we getting swallowed up in our own room? Oh no! What should we do? I can't move! Neptune! We're, We're getting sucked in! in. And so we have it. Let's continue on with this game. This is fun. Neptune. Neptune. Please wake up. Oh, and I know that music. That's classic danger music right there from the Neptunia series. Neptune, please. Oh, come on, Neptune. Give me ten more minutes. This isn't the time to be sleeping. Look! Look around! Ugh, you're so noisy. Wait, did Isti find out we're slacking off to fix that console? Has she finally morphed into a bloodthirsty demon? Huh? Oh, right, right, right. This is just a dream. Okay, well then, night, Nutgear. Turn the lights off on your way out, okay? Oh, it's not a dream, Neptune. Get up! No, 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 no. This can't be possible. I mean, we were just in our room, right? Why would we suddenly be in a place like this? I don't know. When I came to, we were just here. What happened? Well, I don't really know where this is, but I don't think it can be helped. The city's collapsed, there are weird cracks in the sky, but, you know, this is totally a normal occurrence in games. Uh, Neptune, even if it happens often in games, this should not be happening here, in reality. Yeah, yeah, but let's not sweat the small stuff, all right? Hey, there might be some NPCs out and about. Let's go for a walk. I'm sure that'll be ten times better than moping around in a place like this. Yeah, you're right. It's better than just waiting around for an event to appear. That's the spirit! Let's go! Well, okay. There's an event right there. So... Okay, we can jump. Um, that gives me that. What does the touchpad do? The touchpad does this. Okay, touchpad is for information. Um, okay, that centers my camera to where Neptune is facing. Oh, R1's attack. I wonder if they have symbol attacks in this game. Oh, X does the same. Okay. Triangle, that's how I get in here. Do my best. Okay. That shows my items. Here's the skills we have.
Oh, yes, the combo menu. Yes, they still have this. Good. So we got rush power standard. Good, good, good. Uh, your first attack is determined by your weapon, which cannot be changed. So you have different types of attacks, right? And uh, you gain different kind of combo moves you can do, and you add them together to do special attacks, basically. Uh, I can explain more about it as we go on. Oh, they added, they added a lot to this. That's new, the combo traits thing. Hang on, let me go back. Attributes that, if certain conditions are met, will always cause an attack to become a critical hit. Combo traits change depending on the combo attack. So check it each time you set a combo. Okay. You, the amount of combos you can set depends on the weapon you equip. Pa the parts you cannot use in battle will be grayed out. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Good, good, good. Okay, okay. So my standard is just an attack. And then we got Power Ed, Zamba. Okay, we can only go up to three. Tier three in power and standard. Oh, you can't set multiple ones. Okay. Okay. All previous attacks did not use the combo trait. What? How does that work? Okay, here we go. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna have our choice of Nep Slash, Power Edge, or Zanba to start with, and then we will have to use Power Slash for our second attack. So I think I'm just gonna do a standard Power Power combo, basically. That'll have to do. Alright, Neptune, what do you got? If you haven't used power. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, that works. So I can do a square, triangle. I can do a, I can do my standard attack, X attack, triangle attack. Avoid the power at all costs. But I will have it be slash edge. If your previous attack was standard, that right there is a combo in and of itself. That's nice. Okay. So that's all we have for that. Equipment. Oh, shit. So yeah, you equip equipment, obviously. Uh, yeah, just like with that. Do you have any goodies from all the item sets? Yeah. How's that? Very nice, very nice. So this gives me 10% intellect and 10% resistance and whatever that is. Alright, that works. We'll do that. Do you put surprise? Let's wear those. It's gonna be another 10 intellect. Or is that for agility? No, that's for intellect. Alright, there we go. And we got the beam saber, the violet bangle, sailor uniform, white knee clips, there we go. Net gear's looking good. Let's look at the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so apparently they have the partner system in this. Formation system, you can set your formation for what you want them to do, blah, blah, blah. Coupling, I remember this, the lily rank, and that uh, does stuff. Uh, for your for your partner attacks, basically. Uh, like increases PC abilities called Lily effects. Oh my god, that god was terrible. Okay, yeah, got it. Alright, so if we coupled these two, we would get. Plus 16, plus 15. Uh, 
a couple of these two. Plus 16, plus 14. So it's better to combo Nep Gear with Neptune than, ne than Neptune with Nep Gear. Okay, that makes sense. Lily ranks. Okay, we're good. Oh, this is cool. I like this. There we go. Let's tighten up this formation a little bit. I actually want my fourth on the right side. There we go. We got Delta Formation going. Good, good, good. Uh, items. Let's check all these. Good, 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 good. We got all the good stuff. Very nice, very nice. Good, 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 good. Okay, good. Oh, these are all processor units. I like it. Okay, good, good. We're good to go. Let's rock and roll. Let's hit this event. No one's around. Hmm, that's pretty weird. You'd think there'd at least be a cat, a hologram, or something. Hey! Anyone here? There's something really eerie about this place, Neptune. Those cracks running through the streets and buildings don't seem like regular cracks. You're right. They're all green and pretty. I feel like if I stared at them long enough, they'd suck me right in. There are similar cracks in the sky, too. It's almost as if the fabric of space and time itself has cracks in it. And these buildings, they feel familiar. Kind of like some of the ones we have back in Planetune. N no it couldn't be. Hmm. Would Planetune look like this if we were to enter an apocalypse? D don't say things like that! That's bad! When I look more closely, I don't recognize any of these areas. So I don't think it's Planetune. Doi! Come on, little Nap. That city's my backyard! I'd recognize it if I was walking around it blindfolded! Well, it does us no good to keep brooding here. Forward march! Where does her confidence come from at times like this, I wonder? My confidence, you ask? It's obviously because I'm the main character. And we have our first, well, that's actually our second fourth wall breaking. She had that little spiel about the writers and histoire earlier. No matter what happens, we'll make it through with my protag rule set. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, the protag rule set. Eek! Ahem, <clears throat> that was just k kinda loud is all. <laughs> it's just a run-of-the-mill first battle baddie. See, Neptunior, my protag rule set has found local person number one. Oh, Neptune! No matter how you look, I don't think we can converse with it. It's full of murderous intent. Uh, I guess so, huh? That just means yeah, we're gonna have to I beat the shit out of it. Only run into someone else besides us. But if the enemy is raring to go, we've no choice. Nepgear, let's transform and stop it. Right. Behold my power. Processor unit set. Um. Of course they can't use the processor units. If you guys don't know, the CPUs have a special power called the processor units that causes them to transform into something much more powerful. Huh? And they tend to have different attitudes as well when they transform. But nothing happened? <laughs> Hey, that's dangerous. Oh, I see. You don't know it's against the rules to attack during a transformation sequence. Uh-oh. Do they completely change up the combat? Oh, God. I don't think a monster will understand even if you tell them that. I don't know why we can't go HDD, but we have to take care of the enemy in front of us first. Let's go for it. Okay. They are both up front. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Uh, 
um, all previous attacks are standard, so that'll do that then. Um, okay, okay, okay. Alright. So we can do standard power power, and that'll do that one. And then this one we're gonna do standard, standard, rush. No, no, we're gonna do standard rush. Okay, okay, okay. That's good, equipment looks good. We already did the party. Let's start the tutorial battle. Everyone, use this fight to learn the basics, all right? Okay, it's a promise. I've never seen this monster before. It looks strong. I'll have to focus. Never fear, Nepgear. This is a tutorial battle, so no matter how crazy they look, we'll win. I, uh, I'm not too sure about that. Okay. But, uh, let's go at it. What should I do? What is that? What's that boot bar mean? Okay, this is how far I can run. Okay, let's attack, and then we're gonna do a rush. There we go. What should I do? <laughs> Ooh, that does damage. Okay. What should I do? Scratch. Okay, yeah, he's really not that powerful. That was relatively easy. Okay. I am the CPU candidate of Planetune after all. There we go. 1486 damage and a 12 hit combo. Ooh, easy peasy. We didn't even need HDD. But why couldn't we transform? Oh! What's up, Neptunior? Neptune, it's our shares! I thought something was weird. I can't feel our shares at all. Yeah, right. I trounced a certain noir in a character ranking contest. That popularity is like the source of our shares, so to be missing. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Hmm? It's gone. What? Why? Shares are the faith people have in CPUs. It's impossible for them to be at zero. And for us to be unable to transform in a post-apocalyptic horror world like this, we're going to be sterilized! But please, calm down, Neptune! Also, that monster we just fought? Have you ever seen anything like it before? That super gross mutant bug thing? Nope. And I kinda wish I never had. What about you? It was my first time, too. Unfamiliar monsters in an unfamiliar land. Where the goodness are we? Can we actually get out of here alive? I've tried contacting Eastwar, but the end gear keeps dropping out of range, so I can't connect to the phone or the internet. It, it'll be just fine. You worry too much. Just leave everything to your big sis. And let's be real here. Roaming around strange new lands, beating up monsters is way better than working at a boring desk. Neptune, I think you only feel that way because you hate working. Just, the only thing I hate is not having fun. Come on, let's make the most of this, little sis. Neptune, I don't know if I can have fun, but I'm sure we'll be fine if we're together. There we go, you look way cuter when you smile. Let's keep moving. Okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. Within dungeons, enemy symbols are wandering about. You will begin a battle when you touch these enemy symbols. 
Okay, yeah, that's cool. You can attack with your weapon by pressing X. If you hit the enemy symbol with your weapon, the battle will begin with an advantage for your party in what's called a symbol attack. If you touch the enemy mid-swing or you are attacked from behind, the battle will begin with the enemy at an advantage in what's called a back attack. So be careful. Yep, makes sense. Got it. Alright. So we got that one over there. Let's fight him. It's our chance to attack together. Are you kidding me? I'm just out of reach of that one. We're just out of reach of both of them. I've been waiting. Just a scratch. Oh, there's three. Shit. My turn. Okay, yeah, we are actually losing health very fast. Yay, we won! Yeah, Nepgear's health is not looking too good. Level up! I think I'm a little closer to Neptune now. So yeah, let's. It might be kind of nice if you healed me soon, maybe. Yeah, let's definitely do that because we're at half health with Nep here. Um, that heals by 800. Um, do I really want to use? Uh... Thirty percent of one ally's HP. Thirty percent of eight fifty six. Okay, yeah, we'll just use the healing grass. We have more of them, anyways. Okay, looking good here. Oops, can't go that way. I gotta go this way. Um, there's something to the left there. That looks like it's up top. Oh, you got me a bit attacked. Why is everyone ganging up on Nep Gear? What the hell? I did it! I'm waiting! Do I have a skill? I have cross combination, okay. Oh yeah, I have to choose one. Never mind. Not worth it. Oh. Derp, I was so confused there. Alright, so I think we're going to call it good here before this drags on too long. I'm going to try to keep these around 40 minutes, just under that. If you guys are enjoying the series, leave a like down below, subscribe for more content, and always leave a comment. I try to read any old comments that I possibly can, and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Either way, Panda, check in out.